channel. On today's video, we're going to be unboxing the Pop Mart X Deco collab. We have four different series to unbox in today's video. The first one is a Flying Deco, then we have Deco in the Winterland, Deco Tropical Island, and Home Training Deco. I'm really excited to open these up today and sorry about the Moon Man Band-Aid. I just have a bit of an injury on my finger. So I put a bandaid on it so you guys couldn't see the scratch. But let's get into the unboxing. So out of all the boxes we have here today, there's two that I've unboxed before and two that are new to me. So the two new ones are Flying Deco and Deco in Winterland. And I've opened up Deco Tropical Island on a previous video. I'll link it up here. And I've opened up home training Deco on my own with my best friend and I actually ended up giving her the figurine so I have seen what one of these figures look like so I think I'm gonna start off with the ones I've already unboxed and do the new ones towards the end I think that's a good plan so let's start off with the home training Deco so this is the home training Deco box and this is the side that has all the characters on it and of course we have a deco on the top as always. I always love the top of the deco boxes. They're usually really cute. So this series has eight designs and one hidden edition. We have Dieter, Heavy Dumpling. This is the one that I unboxed with my friend and she has the figure. We have Inner Peace, Sausage Lie, Donut Lover, Donut Chaser, Boom Box, Hula Hoop, and then the secret is a cat doing yoga, or a cat duck, I guess it would be, doing yoga. I really want to get the secret one. That's the one I want most for sure. I think besides this one, I'm not sure what else I would like. Hmm. <laughs> what would be the one that you would like to get out of all of these? So let's see who I get. So we have the pull tab at the top. Oh, and it doesn't look like it opened all the way, so we're going to have to rip it. And we have the silica pack at the top. And then it's just the normal Pop Mart bag, just all white with the silver labeling. So let's open it up and see who we get. So who did we get inside? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, it's not standing. Oh no. This one doesn't stand for some reason. Is it because the feet are slanted? Yeah, it's because the feet are slanted. It's doing like a dance move. So I think there's a stand inside of here. No, I don't feel anything else in the bag. So it must be in the box. So let's have a look in the box. Yeah, and it looks like we have a little plastic stand and the card. <laughs> look at this card, it looks so cute. So for the home training deco, we got the dieter. So let's go ahead and put it on the stand. So it's actually a scale. Let's go ahead and unbox this. So here's the home training deco figure we got. So it's the dieter. So the deco is standing on a scale and has its foot lifted up, I guess because it wants to appear lighter. I'm not a huge fan of this one. I don't, <laughs> personally myself, I don't dye it. So I'm not really into the message behind the figure, but it is still a cute figure, I guess. I don't think it'll be something I keep in my personal collection just because, but if you like it and you think it's cute, let me know down below. So we unboxed the first Deco series, and then the next one we're going to do is Deco Tropical Island. So let's have a look at this box. And I love the top for this box. So the top of this box is the Pineapple Deco, and I really hope we get that today. So let's have a look at all of the options you can get. We have Tanning, Pineapple Tube, Tube, Hula Dancer, Turtle, Ukulele, Pineapple, Banana, Coconut, Diver, and Jeju Diver. And then the secret one definitely looks like someone on a kiteboard. That one looks really cool. This is the one that I've unboxed before and my friend actually has this one. 
because she really liked it. So I gave it to her. And I think for me, I want coconut, banana, but pineapple's the one I want the most. But this whole row, I would love to get. It's really cute. I think this would be a pretty fun one to get. I think those ones are all pretty silly, so I wouldn't mind getting those. So let's go ahead and open up the box. And like the other one, it has the pull tab at the top. So let's just open up the pull tab. And then we can go ahead and open it up. We got a really big one, so let's go ahead and open it up and see who we got. Oh man, we got the scuba diver. <laughs> I love the little, I love the octopus on the top of the head. So this one doesn't come with any accessories. So let's look inside the box and see what we have here. So we should have the card. Yet, yeah, and this one is a pink card. And we got the Jeju Diver. Okay, so this is the Jeju Diver, not the regular diver. And there's lots of accessories inside the box. So give me a moment, I will get it all set up. So it's a bit hard to set it up, but I just used the card as reference. So you can see in the card, that the diver's holding both of the accessories on the right arm. So that's how I set it up, and I just barely got them to fit, but the diver's holding on. It looks like those are his shoes, and that's maybe like a picnic basket. This figure is really cute. I really like the Jeju Diver one. I think it looks absolutely adorable. I really love the face mask. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but you can really get the sense of depth <laughs> when it comes to the figure. And the little octopus on the top is super cute. So we've opened up two of the boxes out of the four. So we're halfway through the video. So what should we open up next? Flying Ducko or Ducko in Winterland? Hmm, I think I'm gonna go for Ducko in Winterland next. So let's have a look at the box. So here is the box. And this one is eight designs and one hidden edition as well. And on top we have a snowman deco. This one is really cute. And let's see what the possibilities are. So I don't know what it is with the Ducko series, but they have a lot of boxes that use words that we don't really use in Canada to describe people anymore. And sometimes their figurines can be a bit stereotypical. I don't know why the Ducko series has a really bad problem with this compared to their other series, but I'm not gonna say that name because in Canada, we don't really use this name anymore. It's been phased out. We would say Inuit. So this might be an Inuit figurine, but to me, it looks like someone who's just wearing some winter clothing. And we also have Blanket Lover, Snowman, we have Gingerbread, then we have Big, Big Tang Hula. I'm not sure what a Tang Hula is, but it kind of looks like a watermelon to me. Is it giving you those watermelon vibes? And then we have Brown Bear, that one's really cute, Chestnut sweet potato and the secret looks really interesting i don't even know if this looks wintry it kind of looks like a bell i guess that might be christmasy if it is a bell but what is this one <laughs> it's so interesting looking so so these are all the options again just a bit closer and i'm trying to think of which ones i would be interested in getting i think the brown bear looks really cute the sweet potato one looks pretty awesome too. And I think the big tang hula one looks really cute as well. The chestnut one is pretty cute. I believe this one has a beaver tail. I don't think you can see it in the photo, but I believe it has like a beaver tail. I might be wrong on that, but I think the ones that I want is the brown bear. That's the one I want the most. The gingerbread one is pretty uh, Christmassy and cute too. Or the snowman. Oh yes, the snowman's really cute as well. This box, there's a lot of different ones I would like to get. I don't think I would be too disappointed with any of them. So let's go ahead and get this one open. 
I don't know what it's been today, but all of these boxes have been really hard to open. The pull tab keeps on getting stuck at the end. So let's go ahead, pull out the bag. And see who we got. All right, who do we have here? Oh, we got the brown bear. I'm pretty sure that's the brown bear. So let's have a look in the box for the card. Oh, I like this one. This one definitely looks like a winter deco one. And yeah, we got the brown bear. That's so awesome. So let's have a look at the brown bear figure. So it's holding a fish in its hand. That's really cute. And it kind of just looks like a PJ set. It's really awesome. <laughs> There's not any details on the back beside the cute little duck tail. And I just love the feet of Deco. I think it's so cute that they stand on such little feet. And the ears of the brown bear. This figurine is so adorable. What do you guys think? Do you like the brown bear one or would you have preferred something else from the Winter in Wonderland collection? I think it's pretty cute. Yeah, I definitely like it. I'm glad we got one that I wanted. Although, you know what? Looking at them both beside each other, I think I like the Jeju Diver more. I think this one is still my favorite out of them all. What do you guys think? Out of the three we've unboxed, which is your favorite? Dieter? Jeju Island Diver? Or the brown bear? <laughs> I think deco ones are so cute. The figurines are just so interesting. They're really different compared to other things that are available. I don't know if I would love a whole collection of them, but I definitely enjoy having one or two of them. They're so kind of absurd <laughs> to me, at least. So the last box we have to open is the Flying Deco series. And this one is a bit taller than the other ones. I think because you can get one that probably has like balloons or something that would need it to be just a little bit taller than the regular box of decos because all three of these are all the same box. So this one is the same size, just a bit taller. And here's a look at the box. On the top, we have a deco wearing a cute spinny hat. Oh, I love the side of this. That's such a beautiful design on the side. And then these are all of the possibilities we can get. So I'm going to bring this just a bit closer so we can see it better. So this is the one that is probably the reason why we have the taller box. So we have the balloon deco. We have superhero deco. We have the propeller cap. The honeybee. Oh, the honeybee one's really cute. Then we have flying squirrel. There's Ladybug, UFO, Pilot, Rocket, Magic Carpet. Oh, you can't see those ones at the bottom here. Let me lift it up. So the bottom one, we have Magic Carpet. And then we have Flying Cloud. And then the secret one looks like one that's jumped out of an airplane and is just parachuting down to the ground. So those are all of the options that we have to unbox. And which one would you be interested in unboxing? I think I really like the look of the balloon one. The superhero one is really cute. Honeybee, flying squirrel, maybe flying squirrel is my favorite, or the UFO, or the magic carpet. The magic carpet one looks like an Aladdin one, and I really liked the movie Aladdin, so that would be a nice one to get. But I don't know, which one would you like to get? The flying cloud one's just kind of interesting because it's just a kind of looks like a superhero just on top of a cloud. These ones are really cool, though. I think out of all the ones we've unboxed so far, this is my favorite series. I don't think I would be upset with any of these. I think they're all really cute. I think the only one that's kind of boring is maybe the propeller cap, but propeller caps are really cute. <laughs> The ladybug one looks interesting too. I love ladybugs. 
So this is such a good box. I'm really excited to see who we get. I should maybe pick up another one of these since I like it so much, all of the options. Let's go ahead and open it up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So I opened it up and so much stuff flew out and hit the ground that I had to pick up. So I'm trying not to spoil myself, but I'm going to pick up the item so we can unbag this. So I don't think I've been spoiled. I still don't know what's inside. So let's open up the bag and find out who we got for the flying series. Oh, it's the B one. Oh, that's so amazing. This one also doesn't stand. So I'm just gonna put that one on its side and let's have a look in the bag. Nope. Oh yeah, there is one little, it's not an accessory. It just came apart in transit. It looks like one of the antennas. So you can see on the top, there's no hole at all. It's actually just a piece of broken plastic. So I won't be able to put this on there. I'll have to super glue it. That's too bad that this got broken in transit. And here's the card for the flying deco. And it doesn't come with a stand either. So it looks like it should actually stand on its own. Oh, look at that. That's so cute. I really like the flying deco card. It's really cool. So, hmm, I wonder why mine isn't standing. It also came with this little bag. Oh, so this is the stand. So we've gotten one of the deco boxes before where it comes with this little plastic stand. And this just allows you for your deco to stand if it's too heavy. So it's just a piece of plastic that you can put kind of under the butt of the deco and that'll allow it to stand. So let's have a look at the figure. We haven't even looked at the figure yet. So this is the honeybee one. I really like the clear wings. Those wings look really cool. <laughs> and it's little bee deco butt. Oh, look at it. It's so sweet. I love it. So what you do is you just put this here and we should be able to set the tail on top. There we go. So we have it standing up. It's just missing the little bit for the antenna at the top. So I'll have to super glue that on top of it. So these are all of the Ducky figurines we got today. So we have the Dieter from Home Training Deco. Then we got the Jeju Diver, and this is from the Tropical Island Deco. And we also got the Brown Bear Deco from the In the Winterland series. And from the Flying Deco series, we got the Honey Bee one, which is your favorite out of the four of them. I think my favorite, even though it's broken, is the Honey Bee one. I think this one is super cute. I absolutely love it. And then I think the Jeju Diver one is probably my second favorite. I wonder if this is named after Korea's Jeju Island. I think I called it Jeju Island Diver before as well, but I had a friend who actually used to live on Jeju Island. And, and I think that's really cool that we got that figure. So these are all four of the ones that we have. And I hope you liked this video. Do you like the Deco series? Are you a fan of it? Or are you not a big fan of getting a duck figurine? I think for this, there are some duds. And when it comes to Popmart, I find a lot of their collab. I wouldn't mind getting any figure on the side of the box. There's obviously ones that I wish, you know, are my favorite that I wish I would get but usually I'm not too disappointed. But when it comes to the deco ones, I don't know, for some reason, when they fall flat, they do fall quite a bit flat for me personally. But if you really like the series, I'm really glad you do. I think these ones are really cute though. I'm pretty happy with what I got. I hope you liked this video and I will catch you on the next unboxing video. Every Wednesday I do an unboxing, so you can check out next week to see some more figurines getting unboxed. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you on the next video.